Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a really cool text topography that is very, very simple that you can learn in like five minutes. Uh, and it's going to be basically what the preview is. So let's get right into it to learn how to do it. So what you want to do is just open up a new presentation in PowerPoint and I'm just going to change the layout to blank. I mostly always do this in most of my animation videos. Just make a text box and I'm just going to write text. You can write whatever uh, word you want. Uh, and this is mostly, this is best for a four letter word, but you can do um, bigger words if you want to try it out. Um, but I think it's best to use um, four letter word because it's going to be four different types of animation on each letter. So I'm going to just change it to Arial Black, um, because that's uh, a very blocky font, so hopefully it looks better with that font, um, but you choose whatever formatting you want. This, this um, text box isn't what we're going to be an animating, this is just for reference when we make each letter. So I'm just going to hold Control and then Shift so that it moves along the same axis over here or through this way, right? And then it's also copying it, so when I let go, boom, it's copied, right? And then I'm going to just hi highlight all the text apart from the T and go backspace. So we've got just got a T. And then we um, go, uh, we, you hold shift and then you click on both the, the text box. So you hold, you're, you're holding both of them basically. Go align, go align left and then align top so that it aligns. This, this one, one text box is aligning with the entire text box. Now hold control shift again and then drag across until it aligns with the E. And then what you want to do is just double click and um, write whatever letter it is and E. And then you can just use your arrows just to move it around until it's aligned. So right there is aligned. Now again, hold, hold control shift, move it along, double click, make it an X. And I think that was perfect. Yeah. Just about there. Um, now this for the last one, since it's the same letter, I'm just going to take the first one. Hold control shift until it matches up and then again you can just move around play around with the um the arrows and that's it now what you want to do is highlight everything now hold control and then press in the bottom left here now the bottom left of this next one bottom left of this one over here and bottom left of this one so you're just holding the text box and all the box and all you want to do is just press delete so that's deleted now Hover over all of them, so you're, you're um, selecting all of them, go animations, and then press fly in. Now open up the animation pane. Let's change the duration to 0.75, and then open up this pop-up box here in the show additional effect options, options um, here, and this is the fly in animation. I'm just going to make the smooth end um, max, 0.75, okay, so that's what it looks like currently. Now what you want to do is also add animation and go fade, right? And this one we're just going to make 0.25 and pull it to the top over here. Now click on the one that has number 2 next to it because it's an on-click animation. So basically it, when you click um, it will do the animation but we don't want it. We want it to happen at the same time as the fade. So we're just going to make it with previous so that it aligns. Just make sure you've got what the, this um, sort of look with your animation. Now what you want to do is we're going to change it to make, to make it more of a, a topography animation with different... Um, different animation um, directions. So for this T, it's the correct one going up. Now for the E, we're going to make it go to the right, uh, to, sorry, from from right, um, so it goes like that way. And then for the X, we are just go down. Um, and then for the last one, it's just the, the, um, the last one, which is just from left, so that we've got it going from all directions, top, bottom, left, and right. So that's basically the animation. If I just play it now, it looks um, basically exactly the same as the start, that. And that looks really good. If you have a, a bigger word, um, like bigger text word, you can um, you can just change around these animations. There can be more than one with the text. And you can add some delays if you know what I'm talking about, this delay box here so that it happens at different times, different times. But this is just a very simple animation, you can play around with it, make it look a lot better, and this will pro hopefully help you with your text topography. If you found this tutorial helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Also, you can comment any other animations that you would like me to cover, and I can see what I do, and hopefully I can make a video on it. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.